All right. So what I'm going to do in this video today is I'm going to show you how to use a auto talk package. This is going to be in the most simplest way. I know you could do it with like trigger boxes and scripts, but we're not going to do it that way. We're going to do it with a simple package. And then what we're going to do is make it to where once he says the dialogue, he forces you into the conversation. He says the dialogue, the quest stage will advance. This is like a easy method that I use to prevent the NPC from constantly speaking to you all the time, because what we'll do is we'll set the condition so that he can only force you into a conversation when the stage is set a certain to a certain um per point. That way, once the conversation ends, it'll move to the next stage and he'll no longer be able to force you into a conversation. All right. So what I did was I made an NPC right here, a uh, shooty face or shooty McShoot face or something like that. And basically what he wants you to do is to just shoot him in the face, right? Although I'm probably just going to beat him with a bat because I don't think I have a gun. So um, I made a quest. And it has four stages. Well, technically three because four is only to complete the quest. So you're going to talk to him. He's going to say, I want you to shoot me in the face. I know the perfect spot. And then he's going to escort you to a certain destination. Once he reaches that destination, the quest stage is going to turn into 20. When quest stage is 20, he'll be able to force you into that conversation. And then once that conversation ends, it'll be quest stage 30. All right. So. Um, another thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get the dialogue that you want him to force you into the conversation with. And let me show you that. So I'll give him a few topics, which I probably didn't need to do. I probably only needed the forced conversation topic. But just to show you how it is in case you want to use, you know, like your reoccurring NPCs and have them force you into a, a conversation. Here's how you would do it. So. Uh, right here, I don't think you need to put a prompt because he's forcing you into a conversation, but I just put it here just because whatever. So he's going to be like, I need you to shoot me in the face. Oh, wait, no, not that one. Which one is it? This one, shoot me and shoot me in the face right here, right now. So this is what he what he's going to say to you. And then the quest stage is going to advance and then, you know, you'll just shoot him in the face and end the quest. So what I'm going to do is right here, since this is going to be the forced conversation that he forces me into the conversation with, I'm going to, um, I'm going to ch set the uh, quest stage. So on quest stage 20 is when he's going to, he's going to say that to me. So I need to make sure that after he says it to me, the quest stage will be 30. So I'm going to set stage this to 30. All right. And then remember that topic. It's called AA sh sh shoot me or whatever, whatever ID that you put for your quest. So now I'm going to go to package. And then I'm going to go to new package and then I'm going to go to. I like to name my packages like auto talk. And what we're going to use is the. There's a. Dialogue package right here. So this is what we're going to do. And then. We're going to use some of these tabs right here. So the reference, this is the person that he's going to talk to. He's going to talk to you, the player and the cell doesn't matter. And then the activate distance. This is the distance that you need to be uh, next to him in order for him to say what he's going to say. So we're just going to put 600 just for the showcase. Um, and then we will go to conditions and then we'll go to new conditions we'll go to gets id and we'll put put his id you may not you actually may not need to put his id on this one but i'm just going to do it just in case 
All right, so we're going to put that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set the stage condition. So we're going to go to get stage. The name of our quest that we made. All right. And then we're going to make it so that it equals 20. So only when it equals 20, he'll say this. And then after he says it to me, it's going to switch the stage to 30. This way he won't, you know, repeatedly force me into that topic. Um, and uh, that's pretty much how you make him auto talk. But the quest won't complete once I kill him because I need to kill him. So <laughs> I'm going to attach a kill script to him. And I'm just going to go here and we're going to grab that kill script that we made. And we're just going to add to this one. So I'm going to grab this. And I think I put else. And paste this. Oop. Then paste this in, and then we will use our quest ID. Uh, which one was it? This one. And we'll paste these in. All right, now if if quest stage is 30, then set it to 40. And oops, take these out. And if and if again and shit. And it <laughs> And if. All right, cool. And close. And all right. Okay. Hit yes to all. Did it close? All right, save. All right, so now he's going to walk us. Oh my goodness, I forgot. Escort and trigger box. <laughs> Let me get a trigger box right here. And uh, we'll go to new. Script, you can leave that the same. I'll change this to shooty. Judy travel trick. Uh, it's new. Hit OK. All right. Then I'm going to click on this one. And I'm going to make it a persistent reference. This way he could lead us to this box. And then I'm just going to reuse this. And I'm going to paste this in. Then I'm going to get my ID from here. So I could replace it. Um, and once we get here, if it's 10, make it 20. All right. Okay. All right, good. Now, I guess I should call this how to make an auto talk and escort package because now we're going to use an escort package. So we're going to go here. We're going to go to escort like this. And then, uh,
Hey, you should do escort package. Specific reference. The reference is the player. And the destination is this. All right. And I guess we could put this like put it to like 10. All right. Um so he's going to escort you here. And we'll make him run too. Screw that. And then once he goes in here, the quest stage will change to 20. He'll force you into the conversation. You shoot him in the face. And then the quest stage comes 40. And then it should be over. So I think. Oh, we need to put the we need to put the references. I mean the the quest the quest uh. Quest objectives. All right, so I'm going to put 10, which is to follow Shooty. The target reference is, can I just put any and then find his reference? Good, good, good. Okay, he is. All right. And then 20. What is 20? 20. 20 is the conversation, so I guess you don't need <clears throat> you don't need anything for that. 30 is to shoot him in the face. All right. Copy the same reference and paste it there. And then stage 40 is nothing. All right. And that is, that should be it. All right. Oh, no, 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 no. Whoops. I almost forgot. I did not give the package. All right. So here's, here's the auto talk package. And I'm, I'm messing this up. <laughs> I'm messing this up so bad. I should do this video again. <laughs> Um, on his, on his package, we're going to add that escort package. And did we make that auto talk package? We did. All right. Um, on the auto. <clears throat> on the auto talk package this topic right here you want to select the topic that he's going to force you into the into the, into the dialogue with so for us it was this one the shoot me so now when he, we get to the destination he's going to turn around and he's going to say that to us he's going to be like shoot me shoot me in the face all right uh I don't think this matters. And yeah, that's it. And we'll make sure. First of all, make sure that I set the conditions. Yeah, we did. And then on the escort, we're going to put conditions here and we're going to put get stage. And we're going to select our quest. And we're going to make it so that it equals 10. If it equals 10, then he will escort us to that destination. All right. And that's it. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and jump in game and I hope this works because, yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> All right. So here we are in game. We're going to go outside and we're going to see our NPC. Where he is? There he is. Shooty McShootface. 
So we're going to talk to him. He's going to say hi. What do you need? I need you to shoot me in the face. I know the perfect spot. So it should. Oh my goodness. I forgot that this. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I completely forgot to start, make the quest start from the dialogue. So, shooty dialogue, topics, and then right here, I know the perfect spot, right here. So I'll go to set stage and then the quest to 10, like that. All right. Now I hit save. And now we'll go in game and start the quest. All right. Let's try this again. I need you to shoot me in the face. I know the perfect spot. Now he's gonna escort me to the. Huh. I didn't nav mesh around the house, so he's. Yeah, he'll run through the wall if he needs to. Alright, now when he gets to the spot. Oh boy, here we go. Alright, before we was rudely interrupted, so he'll go to the destination, and then when he does, he should uh, force us into the conversation. And now he should do it. There he is. Shoot me in the effing face, right here, right now. And then, yeah, I don't have a gun, so I'm just going to beat him. And then when he dies, quest is complete. Alright. Yeah, so that's kind of like how you do, like, an auto talk. And uh, a bit of an escort as well. So, I don't know. I feel like this tutorial is kind of wonky. But it that's just how it is when you're messing around with quests and packages and stuff. It's like... You're just going to have like trial and error and then when you see where you messed up, you just got to go back into the GAC and, and fix it and do it again, you know?